What's up, freaks and geeks? Welcome back to Low Res DIY. So, been a couple months since I uh, posted a video. You know, wanted to take advantage of the last bit of warm, halfway warm weather before uh, winter actually hit. And here in the Midwest, it's kind of starting to punch us in the mouth right now. So, hopefully, I'll be able to get more of a chance to do more of these videos and and just continue on with the apps that we've been installing in TrueNAS. So. A couple of them that we installed, Plex and MB for Media Library, Qubit Torrent, uh, and then connecting a VPN to Qubit Torrent so people couldn't see what you were, were downloading with your torrents and everything. Hey, I'm, I'm not judging. That's you. You do what you want to do with your, uh, your setup. But in the last, I don't know, it's been three months since I posted a video, I think, I fully know that you wanted to take advantage of Plex and MB to to the fullest extent, or Jellyfin if that's your if that's your uh, bag also that's a another good one. But you've been out, you've been running through WalMarts or whatever, and I said I did say WalMarts, not WalMarts. Yeah, WalMarts, and you know I think some of them still have CDs, DVDs, and Blu-rays, things like that in them. If you haven't been there, you've been to the antique mall looking for them, or thrift stores, or whatever. And in the last couple months, your your collection has grown so that now that your media library in uh, Plex is is quite large, and you're you're happy with the way it looks and everything. You're happy with it, right? Well. The one thing you probably noticed is CDs only record at like uh, 480p or something like that. Blu-rays might be 720. I, I can't remember the exact numbers, but they're definitely not uh, the resolution that we're used to in this uh, day and age. So I'm sure you went out and you tried handbrake or something like that, transcode it to increase the resolution, and you just realize none of that stuff really works. And if it does work, it takes forever. And if, you know... You got a thousand movies you got to do to that. You'll you'll never get it done. It's just a monumental task. So to make that easier on you, we're going to install four different apps. They're going to all kind of talk to each other back and forth, and we're going to use them to get your media, you know, your movies, your TV shows, your music in the uh, resolution and and sound quality that you you really want. So. Well, one of the other bonuses, too, is it'll, it will help you organize your uh, media. So, anyway, let's go ahead and get to it next on Low Res DIY. Okay, so what are these four programs that we're going to utilize? Well, the first one we're going to start off with is this guy right here. That's Prowlar. It's basically kind of like your one-stop shop to really start downloading things. Uh, it doesn't have a ton of uses, but if you just want to download stuff, grab it, throw it in a directory where you want it, this is kind of what you would use. The next one is Radar, and it's for your movies. It can You can get a list of your movies in there, it'll look for them, find them in the resolution that you want and everything else, and it will help you organize all your movies. Then we're gonna install Sonar, which does pretty much the same thing as Radar, except Sonar is for TV shows. And then LiDAR, and LiDAR is for, uh, it's for your music and, and different soundtracks, things like that. So, like I said, let's start off with Prowlar, and then as we go, I'm sure you'll kind of figure it out and get the idea of it. So, let's go ahead and we're going to jump into our TrueNAS scale uh, system, and we're going to go down to Apps. Click on Apps, and we're going to go back over to, uh, here, let's just keep track of it, Available Applications. Once we get there, we're going to go up to the search bar up here, and we're going to type in Prowl. And it should bring it up, and there it is, Prowler right there. We're just going to click on the install. We're going to keep it easy and grab Prowler and copy it down in here for our application name. We're going to click Next. There's nothing we need to change in General Settings. We'll click Next. Network and Services, Next storage and permissions okay this is one spot we're going to want to add uh, a storage location because what we're going to end up doing is we're going to connect all of these applications back to qubit torrent and it's going to run as our download client and if you remember from uh 
one of the past videos i'll put a link up here for you uh we set up media as the directory that qubit Tort was downloading everything into well prowler radar lidar and sonar all need access to that media directly directory also because they're going to start moving stuff around once it's done downloading and like i said as we go you'll you'll see how it works so we're just going to add the path to our media right there and we're going to copy the slash media and we're going to make that our mount path and we're going to hit paste so then we'll hit next ingress you can do that if you want i'm not going to bother with it now security is fine resources i'm good with them no add-ons no advanced documentation of course we read it all and everything we're good with it and we're going to hit save all right once it gets done downloading everything it needs for the installation we can go back and uh go back over here and click on installed applications and it's going to start it's going to install and that's what it's doing right now so we're just going to kick back and wait for it to get done all right once the installation is complete let's go ahead and click on the open button and open this guy up so here we are it's a pretty basic screen over here on the uh right side of the screen that's all your your different tabs and options that we'll go through a little bit real quick here but the first one up here well let's first let's look at this right here settings if you've got one of these little red boxes with a number in it that means there's one two three or four errors or problems that you need to resolve so if we click on system and status the little red explanation point up there says no in indexers enabled Prowler will not return search results. Well, that's kind of one of the main reasons we have this. So let's go ahead and add some indexers. So let's go up here to the top to indexers. If you don't know what an indexer is, just the simple way to think of it is it's like a search engine, but it's for torrents, not for websites and web pages. So you use Google to look up web websites or pictures, things like that. You'll use a indexer to look up your media. So all we're going to do, click on add new indexer. It'll bring a list up. And one of the things I always do is right over here, this option where it says privacy, some of these indexers are provided by people that you need to be a member of their little group or whatever. Like you can see right here, that one says private, this one says public. So if you don't have an invitation from some of these, these private ones, you're not going to be able to log on. So I'm going to go up to the privacy option and I'm just going to click public and it's just going to give us all the public indexers that uh, it, ha it has a uh, reference to. So to add one, we just click on the one you want, 1337X, that's one I've used quite a bit. Uh, it seems to work pretty good. And you have options you can change here, but most of the time you won't have to do that. And the way you find out really is you go down to the test button and you click on test. And it'll run through, it'll test, it'll reach out and do a handshake with 1337X, and it'll give you that little green check mark that you just saw there. It flashed pretty quick. Once you get that green check mark, you know that you're able to access it and use it as that search engine. So you click save. And then you'll see behind our main box here, 1337X has been added to the list. I'm going to go ahead, run through, and add a couple more. And then we'll we'll do a search for something to see what happens. Okay, I've added four of them. You can see the title right there. That's the name of the indexers. You see it's protocol, it's a torrents, it's public, uh, priority 25, couldn't tell you what that, that even is. Uh, sync profile standard, no idea time when I added it and then it'll give you a kind of a little explanation of what each one of these indexers will download so now we're ready to do a search and see if the indexers will find anything and I am going to do a search for this super awesome this super awesome major cool movie 
from 1982 fast times at Ridgemont High so let's go to search which again it's over here in the uh, le uh, left bar let's go to search and type in fast times at Ridgemont High and hit enter and it's going to go out to those four indexers and it's going to see if it can find that movie and look at there it did it found it now if you have a look at the title of the movie a lot of the times they'll tell you what the resolution is the name the year things like that 720p that's good for some people I prefer 1080p so if I were to want to download this uh, movie now I would come over here to peers and I would try to find one that had multiple peers in it obviously we don't want a uh, zero zero we want to try to find something like a 12 4 or hopefully even more than that there's a 38 38 51 12 80 23 um i mean obviously you want something with more than zero because that means nobody's actually seeding that out to you right now so let's see 80 look at this guy right here 170 and 23 fast times at Ridgemont high 1982 blu-ray 1080p sounds good to me so if i come over and click right there wow i don't know why that guy got so massive there but they're all going to be huge now i guess i don't know anyway <laughs> if we click on the download button here if we click on that it shows it's downloading it, but you don't see anywhere anything happening. Nothing's going on right now. And the reason that is, is because we haven't given it a download client to utilize for our downloads. Like I said, we're going to use Qubit Torrent. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to click on settings. And once we click on settings, huge arrow, bam, right there, download clients. We're going to click on that. Click on the add button and we'll scroll down till we find Qubit Torrent. Wow, even the even the lines are huge. I wonder what the heck I did to make that happen. Anyway, let's get rid of that guy. We'll click on Qubit Torrent. We'll give it a name. Q the Torrent. Pretty fancy name. Now it's gonna want the host the host, the local host, which is your IP address, and the port had to stop the video there and fix this arrow because I just I don't know I use it too much so okay so we named it we want the local host which is our IP address and our port and the if you know what they are you can just put them in myself I always just go back to true NAS scale and then I'll go to the uh, qubit torrent uh, app open it up and then you'll see up here at the top the first number is your IP address, and then your second number is your port that you're going to want to utilize. So 192.168.1202 is our, our uh, IP address. 10095 is our port. So we'll go back to Prowler, and we'll add those in. In our port. And then we need to let Prowler know what our username and password are. That way we can log in so get that in there and then we're going to hit the test button here and test it out and it says something's wrong oh look at that we got to take out that local host so let's take that out and let's test it again all right we got the green check mark we're good to go let's save it and now we have a download client so let's go back to search and search for fast times at ridgemont high again Give it a few seconds. It should come up with all the uh, options again or all the different download areas again. And let's pick this guy right here. We'll click the download button. Give it a second. And let's go over to Qubit Torrent. And look at that. It's found it. It's downloading it. Well, it's queued. It's stalled. It's going to get going here in a second here. But you see, it's downloading it for us already. 
And let's go ahead and jump into our media directory to see if it's there. And there you go. You can see it's downloading right there. Fast times at Ridgemont High. So it'll go through all of it. It'll download it. Once, it. once it's completed downloading, you can either leave it in the media directory or you can grab it and put it in a different directory. If you have a comedies directory or something like that, you can put it in that just to keep your movies organized. So that's the quick and dirty, easy way to use Prowler. If you just want to download some stuff, Prowler's all you need. But if you're wanting to kick it up a notch and, and have the uh, app continually search for the resolution that you actually want and the, the, uh, oh, the sound quality you want, things like that, like I said, we're going to have to kick it up a notch and, and jump into uh, sonar radar and lidar which we're going to do that in the next video we'll probably do radar we'll hook it up get everything working together and uh start running with that so if this stuff interests you if you uh want to follow along go ahead be sure to hit that like button and that subscribe button and check you later